guys and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the uh, PHP backend tutorial so in this part I'm going to show you how you can use uh, simple routing so this will move the last step from script based implementations into object oriented uh, approach so basically what we want to do is we want to remove this function over here which is public throughout uh, all the application in the script. So we want to increase that encapsulation a little bit further. So what we want to do is we want to take this part here and we want to do, do this part instead with variables coming from the HTTP request that we do. And the way to do it is Abstractly speaking, we will check if this class exists and if the class exists, we want to instantiate it So we want to do this part and Then when we have an instance of it We're going to call the functions in the same way that we did previously, but on the instance instead so this part So for this we're going to need a second uh, mandatory variable I'm going to call it controller so it looks something like this. First, we will have action, uh, which is the function that we want to call as previously. And then we will have a second variable called controller that will specify the, ins the class that we want to call the function on. In our case, it will be the database interface. So in PHP, PHP has all kinds of strange stuff with, uh, with, uh, with this kind of behavior. So they have something called magic methods, which, which I strongly suggest that you look into. But they have this really funky thing that called class exist, which you can use. So first off, we're going to make sure that the variables are provided. So we also check if the variable get variable uh, controllers is set or controller and so at this point I know that the variable exists and in here I'm going to check if the class exists which will be provided in here so I can use the class exists function you can see I get some some help in here as well so does this class exist and uh, if the class exists, we want to call it. But first, we want to create a new instance of it. So we're going to do this part. And we can call the variable the same thing. So the data source equals new. And then we would just take this part over here and do it like this. This will create a new instance of whatever we have here. And then we want to call the function on it. So we do the same way. And the function we want to call is specified in the in the action variable. And don't forget the parentheses in here. So this should be able to do the exact same thing as we already have. So let's try it out. As you can see, it's working, but just to make sure we're going to remove this function in here save it and then try it again and as you can see it's working so if i try to do something else i don't really get any good response of course because we have no error handling and we can add add that of course and uh, you can just put an else statement in here and uh, we're going to look into error handling a little bit further along the line. So uh, this one was a really short tutorial, but it really removed the last part uh, about the uh, funky stuff that we had going on here with the with the uh, global functions. So now we have a base for an application that is have a pretty high encapsulation. And that means that we have a bare minimum of public stuff going on. 
The only public stuff that we have is this if clause in here. And all that that if clause does is that it's uh, basically handling the routing, which of course is a naive routing. We will also look at later how you can make this a little bit more secure than it is, because currently there is no error handling. So you're allowed to instantiate whatever class we have in here, which is obviously not a good thing. So you can think about how that will affect the security of the system and uh, also try out some solutions that you might have for it. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next tutorial.